And we continue now with Sarah Palin. All right, I know you've talked a lot in every interview about the Couric interview. I'm not going to ask you the same question. How would you answer the, those questions differently? The two that got the most play in the that media. I screwed up on, and I was annoyed, okay. and I, uh, my bad. I, I did a horrible job with that and let my annoyance just show so brightly. It was very unprofessional of me. I shouldn't mm -hmm. have done that. Um, she asked about what I read, and I read, I read Newsmax and the Frontiersman and Wall Street Journal and everything online. I uh, absorb the news via many, many sources. You could have plugged Hannity.com, but we'll, uh, we'll yeah. let that go. Right. But, but so you read every and uh, Supreme Court cases. What, oh, yeah. you, that was the other one that got a lot of play. What, what, why did you not? Uh, how would you answer that question today? Is a better. There were so many Supreme Court cases that affected my constituents in Alaska. An Exxon ruling had just come down, and in fact, I had uh, recently had been interviewed that on national press, and I should have just answered that. Instead, again, my screw up. It, it was annoying circumstances, and um, I shouldn't have been so flippant about everything. People either, it seems, if you look at the polls, love you or hate you. How would you, well, how would you reach out to maybe people that have a caricature image of, t of Tina Fey or Saturday Night Live or maybe really don't know you because of the campaign? If you, especially if you think about running for office in the future, was there a way that you would try and reach out to them? They need to start by reading my book and not believing the tabloidization or the lamestream media that wants to portray me as something that I am not. But read the book, my own words, and then um, judge me by that. Judge me by my record. Judge me by my accomplishments as a mayor and a city manager and an oil regulator and a governor. And um, then they still hate me. Well, so be it. At that point in time, now you, your dad said Sarah's not retreating. She She's reloading. Uh, that's right. That's, that's right. That's a pretty good line. Yeah, that's good. What? You, you, and you also said that you want to play a national role of people will have me. Yes. Well, it's obviously you have a pretty big fan base, so people will have you. How, how do you envision this role and? In, in the future? What role would you like to play? What roles potentially could you play? Well, and not necessarily seeking a title to affect the positive change that I think our country needs. Right. I would like to help candidates to get elected to cast those votes that are needed to implement good change and get our economy back on the right track. Um, I want to help those worthy causes like special needs, uh, making sure that our world is a more welcoming world for the most special ones. And um, there are a lot of causes out there that I want to help with. Don't know if necessarily that means running for a, a higher office, but, um, you know, my life is in God's hands, and um, I'm mm -hmm. seeking that, that path that he would have me you're on. You're not thinking about it now, but you're not ruling it out now? Not ruling it out. Okay. Now, when you resigned as governor, a lot of people were saying, and you told a story about a conversation you had with your older son yeah. ab about that issue, which I thought was interesting in the book. All right, so let's say 2012 and you decide to run. Mm -hmm. And the question comes up, you know, Governor, what assurances you won't resign if investigations begin, you think you're a lame duck. How would, how would you answer that question in 2012? The decision to hand the reins over to my lieutenant governor was all about what was doing right for the constituents in the state of Alaska, not prohibiting progress based on the opposition researchers trying to put me on a path towards personal destruction, so doing the right thing for my state. And, and the decision was the right decision for Alaska. Right. Um, I'm, I'm not a quitter, and I do love the way that my dad put that, not retreating, but reloading in order to get out there and fight for what is right for our country, um, in order to um, help provide some common sense conservative solutions. So we're going to hear a lot from you. That you're going to hear a lot from me, so, you know, the haters mm -hmm. are going to have a whole lot of material. Uh, Tina Fey, she may have a whole lot of material coming up but mm. our message is strong our message is truth and our message my message I think is is a, a voice for that common sense everyday hard-working American who expects not much out of their government except for it to be on their side you, you talk about Rom, the thumping and you talk about rules for radicals yes. and you talk about Rom and the Democrats and you got the Chicago treatment you think they were responsible for a lot of the investigations that ensued, which, you know, became very troublesome and expensive for you, which led to the resignation? Well, absolutely, but it wasn't just me. It was the burden put on the state administration, the millions of dollars, the thousands of hours that my staff had to spend just to respond to the frivolous things that were thrown our way. And um, that, that was all 
quite unfortunate, but Alaska is doing very well under Lieutenant Governor, now Governor Sean Parnell. He's got the same agenda that I have. Now we're minus all those distractions and our state is moving forward on energy projects that will create a more secure environment for our nation. He's doing the right thing. In that case, so you're, you're happy. All right, so as we move forward, you don't, you really have no idea where you're going to be in four years. I do not know. I wish that mm -hmm. I could predict mm -hmm. and uh, and prepare for what's going to happen in four years. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I, I'm very happy where I am now, happy with the book, happy with those receiving the truth and the message that um, that I'm sending. Very happy with where my family is now. They're healthy, they're joyful, and um, everybody's doing just fine. Governor, in your own words tonight. We appreciate you being with us. Thank you, Thank uh, you. Sarah Palin. Going rogue, already a bestseller. Didn't yeah. he? It was a Thank bestseller you. before it was on the bookshelves. Yeah, we're blessed. Okay, thanks for being with us. And that is all the time we have left this evening. As always, thank you for being with us, and I hope you have a great night.